What's up, YouTube? It is me, Real, and welcome back to the channel. Today, y'all, y'all see the shoe behind me, and you saw the thumbnail. We are going to be taking an in-depth look at the Jordan 1 High OG Satin Snail. We got the box. You see? It's a red box. We have the black writing, which says Nike, and the black Nike check. And the same thing that is on the lid of the shoe, you guys see on the side panels of the box. Now, as far as the bottom of the box, you know, you get the usual nike trademark logos and all of that stuff so let's just read the size tag size tag reads women's air jordan one high og color blocking gym red black and white size eight and a half so there you go there is the size tag now when you open the box you get the lid that comes off and then a couple things you want to check for is that you have the Nike check right there. You have a lot number. And at the very, very bottom, there is a swoosh right there. Now, when you open it, you get the standard white paper, nothing regular. There is no stickers or stamps in the box. And you do get two extra set of laces. We know the black laces come already started to be laced in. And you get the white and the red, and they come in bags. Now, let's just get to the shoe. Jordan 1 High OG Satin Snakeskin, guys. Look at this shoe. Like I said, first glance, better than expected. The pictures did not capture the essence of this shoe for me. I get OG vibes. I get some of that satin shattered backboard vibes. You know, I don't have any of the OG, especially not the OG red and white one in my collection or any of the satin shattered backboards. So for me, this was a good pickup. I was actually good, glad to get it. And just give you guys that 360 look. You can just see this red and everything, even the snakeskin just pops on the shoe. Let's just get right into the review. As you can see, the outsole is the standard Jordan 1 outsole that you get on all your Jordan 1s. And it's black, and I really like the fact that it's black because you can wear your shoe and not worry about it getting too messed up. Now, if we make our way up to the midsole, you see the midsole is white, and we have the white stitching right there. As we continue to make our way up the shoe, the side panels are in that white kind of tumbled leather, and then the Nike check features that snakeskin print. Now, if we make our way to the front of the shoe, to the toe box, which is really sometimes the most important thing on the Jordan 1, and you look at it, you got that gem red leather. This is where the OG vibes get to kick in. So that red, that gem red leather goes all the way up around the toe box and up through the lacing system. Now, this red also continues to be featured right here along the collar of the shoe so now as we keep on making our way around the shoe the toe box is white and you see the perforations and i've worn this a couple times to get you so i can give you guys a good review as far as comfort and breaking in so you do see the start of a couple little like wrinkles in the toe box but keep on going you see the black laces come already started to be laced and i left them in this one because i wanted to show you guys the contrast but as far as the tag on the shoe it is not in leather it's back to the original material that used to be on all the june ones and it's where the satin comes into play the satin comes into play on the tongue of this shoe the entire tongue the front and the back of this shoe is satin the inside collar of the shoe is satin the insole of the shoe try to give you guys a look at that is black but it is also satin and the writing is nike air with the nike check and it is in red so the lining is satin like i said the tongue is satin and you got a satin insole so let's see give you guys a better shot at that there you go the size tag right there now as far as sizing goes, I would suggest you guys go true to size. I went a half size up and I probably shouldn't have, but it still fits just right. It's not too loose and it's not too bulky. Now, I did leave the black laces in this one, like I said, because I wanted to show you guys because I added the white laces in this one. And what I want to show you guys is that the white laces definitely make it pop against that red tongue. And then 
the black laces definitely help tone it down. So if you got an outfit and you don't want to kind of be doing too much on your feet, but you still want to kind of look fresh in the set and these ones go, definitely I suggest you go with the black laces to kind of bring the shoe down, tone it down. Now, if you kind of just want to go all out and your outfit pop and you just want to make your shoes pop or your outfit isn't like doing a lot of the popping, but you want your shoes to stand out, go with the white laces. They then, like I said, it stands out against that red tongue, red satin tongue. But like I said, these shoes are dope. Now, the one complaint, and I did not show you guys this, is the Wings logo. Now, there, see, give you guys a good look at the Wings logo. It's kind of like, is crazy. Like, I just kind of, it's not really a complaint. I guess it's just like a personal preference. You can't really see it because it's kind of like pressed in there and kind of dulled down. But... Other than that, that's kind of like my only criticism and want of the shoe. OG vibes, you get some of the satin shattered bad boy vibes. I think there were like three of those already and we heard in 2021 that we might get in the 4.0 edition. That's not really what it's called, but I'm going to call it the 4.0. Um, but yeah, were you guys able to cop this shoe? I know it was one of the toughest GR releases. It's going to sell out. Black, red, and white on a Jordan 1 is going to go everything you know these are going for like 250 right now on stock eggs in my size but it's not really too bad um were you able to cop if you cop did you keep it i got an own feet for you guys so i'm gonna let you guys go into that own feet and see how they look Definitely consider smashing that like button and hitting that subscribe button if you like what you see. I do all different types of sneaker content over here. I do not do what I do not just do what's hype. I do what I like. So that means I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of weird stuff like the Harry Potter shoes. I ordered a pair of the Van Simpsons collab, so cannot wait for that to get here to show you guys that. That's another that's kind of like off out of the mainstream of the sneakerhead world, but I like it. I'm really excited. A lot of people like that collab, so definitely you want to hit that bell to make sure so you can get notified when I drop that video. So once again, I do what I like, not what's hype. And if you're ready to rock with me, so hit that subscribe button. Peace.